Hey there, welcome. I'm Lee Kellogg and thank you for joining me today. We are going to explore stamping with alcohol inks. Now I did a video of this in 2013 that a bunch of you have watched. You've got thousands of hours of people watching it. I greatly appreciate that. I thought it was time to update this because we've had some material changes. There's uh, been some product changes. I used products in that 2013 video that are no longer available that people have asked about. So today I'm using um, Ranger's Alcohol Inks and I am also working, I, I do a demo on Yupo paper. This is a little tiny pad of Yupo paper that I have. Um, Yupo is a plastic paper. I'm also working with the Kirkland photo paper. Now about midway through, I made a change. So you'll have to watch the video to see what I did that totally changed the results that um, we were working one way on the Kirkland photo paper and I flipped it over and I'm thrilled with the results. So you have to watch to find out. See you there. So let's play with alcohol inks. As I said in the intro, um, I am redoing this video uh, because the one that's on YouTube is now, as of the time of this recording, about nine years old. So there's been a few changes in the world of alcohol inks and just things that we do. So for today's demo purposes, I'm going to use, I've got a little mini pad of Yupo. I'm using the white versus the translucent. Yupo is a plastic paper, polypropylene. Um, the other paper that I'm going to use is Kirkland Photo Paper. And I bought the four by six size and it's super inexpensive when you buy it this way. And one of the reasons why we like the Kirkland paper, we're not using the, the inkjet side of this at all. We're using the back side. So the Kirkland paper has no printing on it. Some of them like Epson will say Epson photo paper, Epson photo paper, rendering this plastic base completely useless. So this paper is a very inexpensive way to um, be doing using for alcohol ink stamping and other alcohol ink activities. Today we're focusing mainly on stamping with alcohol inks um, just because that's something a lot of people don't do. I'm using a couple of paper artsy sets um, using cling mounts and um, we will play with those. Remember that um, Alcohol inks dry waterproof. So if you want to put a watercolor dye based something on top of them, you can. Okay, you can see the difference. This is Yupo, this is the photo paper, and this happens to be the emulsion side, which is the side if you were running this through your printer that you would print on. I want the back side. So you can see the color wise now they're almost the same. Um, if you accidentally print on the, the flip side, it's okay. I am using Ranger's um, applicator with a felt, and this is, I find these the easiest you can use. There are other ways you can work if you want. Um, I think sometimes a, a gel plate will work, but remember with alcohol inks, they dry fast, and you need to work fast with them. And so by doing this, um, this way, we, we get a little, a little time. We get a fair number of uses out of this. This in essence becomes your ink pad. You will want your alcohol blending solution. And I am using Ranger's alcohol inks. Ranger has consistently produced alcohol inks. Um, I think Jacquard may, there may be a few others out there. I am not familiar with them. So I'm using Ranger and we are going to get started here taking the cap off and I am applying a, just a line down the center here. I put blue. I've chosen sort of the, the cyan, yellow, and magenta combo because these colors blend together and make other colors like the blue and the yellow make green and um, that sort of thing. And sometimes your, your um, alcohol inks will self seal and it may take a plier to get the lid off, but that's okay. As I try to get this red one off, there we go. And I'm also working on a craft mat. And just a word of caution, um, alcohol ink will um, 
you get that stuff on your fingernails, it dries your fingernails out. It'll give you nice cuticles and all kinds of good stuff like that. Okay, so I've got my three colors on here. I am putting a drop of blending solution, a couple of drops on here, just to dilute it a bit and to give me a little more work time. And as always, your first stamps are the best because the colors haven't blended too much. So I'm going back and forth and I actually rotated this and make sure I got some ink on there. So there's one stamp on the um, photo paper. And then we'll do a stamp on the Yubo. So it's always going to be a little different because your first stamp is pure. This one I sort of, I mixed some of the colors. So it's, um, it's always a game of chance. You never know exactly how it's going to turn out. Each time is different and it's sort of fun. It just gives you something to work on. Clean up on this. This is my craft mat. I would use rubbing alcohol as um, cleanup. You don't want to use al rubbing alcohol for your blending solution because it's not 100% and it will muddy the colors. So I'm sort of stamping like that, giving those guys that kind of coloring here just for kicks and giggles. There's stamping on the photo side, which works somewhat, but not as nice. And I'm also ran out of ink, but we're working on the back side because it's the plastic side. And I've got a partner stamp here. This one's a little different. I am going to go for a couple of a little different color combo. I can still use this. I'm putting the pink. I'm using Fiesta here. So my colors are Fiesta, Dandelion, and Glacier this, this round. I am looking for something else interesting to add, but I'm not finding it, so we'll just play with play with what we got. Um, I think I'm going to stick some yellow up against this red this time, and we'll go for some orangey colors. A few drops of the blending solution. Blending solution, a little bit goes a long ways. So you can do, you know, all kinds of things with this this way. It's um, background, sort of what I'm doing here. And then I would use this to layer up another um, card making. I don't think there's much left. Sometimes you can get two stamps out of the first out of the first round. But look at the colors. Just look at how they dazzle there. I, to me, it's just it's wonderful fun. Um, I'm going to use this to stamp off a little bit and we will continue to play. I am at this moment not overly concerned about cleaning off my stamps. If I were, I would be using um, rubbing alcohol to clean off the stamps. And experiment that. I would say is too much ink on that one. That's a little better. So you can see the differences. Lots of ink, medium amount, little bit. And some work great. Some stamps work great, other stamps just don't make it happen at all. You know, like this one, I would say this stamp is not one that I would want to use for alcohol ink. So I'm mixing some blue and yellow here to play. I've got a leaf. Need a little bit of blending solution, hands going everywhere in your screen there. The color combos that you get with this are, I think, absolutely stunning because it looks like watercolor, but it's not, and it's permanent, and it just gives you just a whole different feel for things.
So now I have a focal point for a card and I can write a message here. I can lay a sheet on top if I want. Um, you know, it's like easy done. And with the amount of ink that's still on this handle, I easily have another And you can see how the colors start blending and we start getting a little bit towards mud. A little brown. So there you are. More stamps? It's just, to me, it's just super, super fun. It's um, something I really, really enjoy doing, creating multiple, um, you get you get many, many stamps out of this is what I'm trying to say, multiple images out of things and working with it because it's a different, like I said, it's a different look. It's a fun effect. Um, super detailed stamps work very well. As you can see here, this is a very detailed stamp. That worked out really well. Bold stamps, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You know, you never know what you're going to get from that. I'm going to play a little bit with this big stamp. And I'm going to refresh this just a little bit and see if we can get clear up a little bit and so this will get eventually really muddy and you'll just be like okay I'm ready for a new um, a new felt to have fresh colors again and the other thing if you are sensitive to smells this is a smelly product smelly process smelly product so you might want to open a window keep it well ventilated and remember to have everything ready to work fast because the stuff dries fairly fast you got about a seven second delay time going on here but isn't that cool so you know it's just to me uh, i'm like super excited it's like ooh, card possibilities so i will post a picture of the card that i make from one of these um you know, I might even do another video showing how to how to make a card from it. It's just like I said, I have fun with this. So I hope you guys have fun with this. And Make lots of cards, make things, you figure out how to utilize this in your um, journaling or something. No, that's okay. I'm not wild about that, but you could still have fun with it. So you could actually go in, you can paint with um, alcohol inks. You can put them in a palette and use your blending solution to wake them up and use a paintbrush and go in and paint. Um, it's not like watercolor. It's not like acrylic. It's its own critter. But I think that is pretty darn cool. So curiosity got the better of me because I've always been working on the back side of the photo paper and I thought I would try the front side and it takes the colors completely differently. Um, let's see here. This is still this one that I've been working with and it's really nice and muddy now. So we're getting some good fall leaf colors. So there's the back side. Now we're gonna do the emulsion side. The emulsion side is the side that you would print on with your inkjet printer and it's sticky. You heard it come off there. So there's the emulsion side. There's the back side. So totally different. So actually lots of crisp detail on the print surface. So I would say it's up to you which side you want to print on, experiment, see what kind of results you get. And let's go back to that Yupo piece. The Yupo piece is, once again, it's like 
the back side of the photo paper. It doesn't have the sharpness. This photo paper has sharpness. I think that is just super amazing um, detail on that, that this, um, that the alcohol ink picks up from the stamp. So you can go to town with that. Have fun. Let's do a few more. Let's see if we can unmuddy this a bit. We may be too far gone on this felt and have to do another, but we'll see. See, just by adding a little fresh ink. And once again, this doesn't take a lot of alcohol ink. I haven't used that much. So it's, um, it's a very economical way to do things because you get a lot of stamps out of one inking of the felt. Oh, this, this stamp just turns out so cool with this. Oh, I'm loving that. So this is working on the emulsion side. So emulsion side. Got to see it dries out really fast. Non-emulsion side. So plastic backing, emulsion side. My bet, go for the emulsion side. So that's how we did this video. I started out doing what I was accustomed to, experimented a bit, and came up with something better. Just love, love that color. So you can see the differences here in the emulsion side, the plastic, it's sort of bleeding a bit. On the emulsion side, which is the side you print on, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful details. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you're ready to go out and explore using your alcohol inks with your rubber stamps. Um, I have not found over the couple of decades I've been playing with stamps and alcohol inks that it ages my stamps any faster than being exposed to fluorescent light or to sunlight. UV is a killer of rubber. So that's usually what ages your stamps first, um, way before the rubbing alcohol will or the alcohol will. So did you like how we sort of changed from stamping on the back of the plastic side to the amazing detail and color saturation you get by using the emulsion side of the paper. Um, one way, if you're not sure, you can't tell which is the emulsion side and which is the backing. The backing is smooth, it's plastic. Your front, your emulsion side on inkjet photo paper will um, be a little sticky. If you put it on your lip, it's gonna stick to your lip. It is designed to receive ink from the inkjet. So it will be absorbent. It will suck that stuff in. It does suck in the alcohol ink and it's beautiful. So go out and have fun. You can find more videos on this YouTube channel. Do subscribe. There's also blog posts and other things on my website, Lee at Lee Kellogg, or that's LeeKellogg.com. You can find me, Lee at LeeKellogg.com, or leave a comment and we'll respond. And even if it's nine years later, I do answer those comments and questions about the products and about the technique. And do sign up for my newsletter because I send out one a month unless there's something else exciting happen calling called it creativity monthly hopefully a little inspiration and keep you motivated and keep you going so I'm Lee Kellogg we'll see you next time